I'm here with Jake Dixon, who is the owner of uh, Dixon's Farm Stand Meats in Chelsea Market. So today I brought two bone in New York strips. Some people call them Kansas City strips uh, from our two farms that we work with. Uh, the one right here on the right is from uh, Sir William Angus in Craryville, New York. That's our 100% grass finished beef. Um, and then on the left, we've got from Righteous Organics, our grain finished beef. He's finishing with certified organic grains. The differences that we're seeing right here? Almost exclusively our feed, what they're eating. So talk about cooking for a minute. Sure, on the home kitchen, I would put a cast iron skillet like this on high, nothing in the pan for maybe eight to 10 minutes. Get it outrageously hot. Is there a way people can tell when the pan's hot enough? Um, I throw a little bit of water in it and it should vaporize instantly. Right. Most people are uncomfortable cooking with the level of heat they really need to. You can get a cast iron skillet like this upwards of 700 degrees if you really heat it, which is more like they're doing in a restaurant kitchen when they're searing. Are you going to cook this with all this fat left on it? Always leave the fat on when you're cooking. You don't need to eat it. Um, I leave that up to the, the consumer, but you're more likely to dry out if you take the fat off, especially with the grass fed that has less fat to begin with. And your bone in also here. That's the other reason, especially with lean meats, the bone is very important. It will help protect the meat. It acts like a heat sink, so it slows down that cooking process a little bit. Um, you know, your rarest meat you'll see won't be in the middle when we cut into it. It's actually gonna be along that bone most likely. Interesting. So the pan is getting going, um, lots of salt. Pepper is optional. I like pepper on my steaks, uh, but more salt than you think you need. You're gonna leave a lot in the pan anyway. And that seasoning on the outside is gonna be seasoning this whole thick inch and a quarter steak. Uh, Grapeseed oil is great for searing. Canola is great, vegetable oil, all of them are better. Um, if you like the flavor of olive oil, uh, you know, drizzle it on afterwards while it's resting on the cutting board. So one thing you have to be careful with is that the grass fed because less fat is gonna cook faster. Touch your meat a lot throughout the whole cooking process. It's just kind of practicing, doing it over and over again. I mean, we're definitely seeing sort of shrinkage here, but not so much, not so much difference here. Yeah. I mean, you can actually, if you look in the pan, you're seeing a lot more fat. Right. Um, this has very little fat to be rendering right now. So almost all of that is coming off of the grain finish. The one thing to always recognize, especially about beef, is it's at its most mild in flavor when it's raw. And so if you actually really like the flavor of beef, you actually want it to be taken a little bit farther beyond that. So I like to take it to medium rare because I think you get that nice, not overcooked. So you're not getting those kind of livery flavors you get from overcooked meat, but you are getting the most out of the beef. Yeah, I'm looking for like a little bit of firmness, right? So it's not showing that it's raw, but not, uh, you know, obviously not overcooked. Let's take a look. I think we're gonna be okay. You know, it's really, really important, the resting. I mean, I think it's the, the biggest error that home cooks make. And a steak like this, maybe five to seven minutes. It will correct a lot of your cooking mistakes, um, especially with lean meats that are less forgiving. You really need all those juices. And if we were to cut right now, we'd lose a lot of it because the meat is contracted under this intense heat, uh, those muscle fibers, and they'll actually push the juices out. So should we go for it? Well, it's entirely up to you. I'm taking no responsibility. <laughs> And they actually look completely different, right? Like the texture looks a little bit different. This one has a different color to it. Um, they've definitely cooked in a different way and mostly just because of the different fat content. Taste. Let's do it. Do you to start with the grain finish? Sure. Really buttery. Okay, the grass fed. Mm -hmm. Chewier for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, even though it's, it's certainly not overcooked, that's for sure. But. I always think it has a bigger flavor to it. I was going to say, beefiness. better flavor, I think. Well, thanks, Jake. It was yeah, really no great. A lot of fun. Thanks for having me. A little me. meat eating, a little lesson. <laughs> awesome stuff. Thank you. Mm -hmm.